right now, is it? So, Ferdinand Chauvet, who is he? Ferdinand Chauvet is a German engineer who came to South Africa in the 1950s. He thought to himself, what if cleaning a swimming pool could become a more easier, more hassle-free process? So, he invented the creepy crawler. The creepy crawler is the first automated pool cleaning unit in the world, and it was created right on our local shores. The cat scanner. The cat scanner is not solely used for cats, mind you. <laughs> the cat scanner is, being, is used to detect fractures, tumors, hemorrhage, and bone trauma. We know how many lives it saved. The cat scanner was invented by a man called Alan McCloud Cormack. Sorry about that. Cormack was, Cormack was a South African-born physicist. He won a Nobel Physics Prize in 1979. Pretley, imagine a glue that could hold components of electrical box together. That's exactly what Pretley does. Pretley was invented by a man called George Pretley, another South African engineer. Pretley is the first and only invention, from my knowledge, that has actually made it from the moon. South African invention, that is. <laughs> what do Chervi, Cormac, and Pretley have in common? They share their innovative mindsets. Innovation. Now, that's a word we often hear in society. Wouldn't we all want to be innovative? I mean, what does innovation mean for, to you guys? I'm sure if I were granted the ability to read all your minds today, I would hear a lot of different and interesting and very unique answers. But I want to let you guys know what innovation means to me. Innovation means being able to dream, being able to imagine like our five-year-old. It means being able to dream and imagine how we can do things better, make things better, and the one thing that most of us would like to do is bring our creations to life. Wouldn't you all want to be innovative? I mean, that's what I want to do. In fact, I think every one of us is innovative each and every day. We just don't see it. So these three gentlemen, these three gentlemen, my bad, <laughs> what they did is they used their imagination and they used their dreams to create what they have created. Not only things that the world had not seen before, something they found interesting and exciting. And that's what innovation means to me. Please bear with me because I am going to go a bit off topic right now. Social investment. Millions and millions of dollars, yen, grants, whichever currency you can think of has been spent on social investment. I mean, if you had to take the time to think about all the people who've been affected by social investment, could you actually see how worse off they would be? Big corporations in South Africa, as well as the government, they do a lot for people who are from unprivileged areas. I mean, they provide grants, they provide money, they provide food and clothes and much more. They do so much for the people. And where would this world be without social investment? And this is a picture of social investment. You can see kids, I mean, they, these kids come from backgrounds that, you know, aren't so privileged. I mean, we come to Rhodes University and we have almost anything that we want. And basically, social investment gives them the opportunity to have something in their lives. How do these, how does innovation, how does innovation and social investment come together? Innovation hubs. What, what are innovation hubs, you might be asking yourself. Well, innovation hubs are facilities where innovative activities and creations are facilitated. But um, there are already instances of innovation hubs, but the innovation hubs that I'm, the concept of my innovation hub is a community-based innovation hub where unprivileged people from unprivileged areas are given the opportunity and tools to actually access the latest technology. Um, this is an example of innovation hub in Gauteng. It's actually the first innovation hub that we had in South Africa, if I'm not mistaken. There are numerous innovation hubs, as I heard yesterday from Rob, in South Africa. And um, basically, a community-based innovation hub will, will be a place where people are people have access to the latest technology, the latest smartphones, the latest TVs, the latest computers, the latest tablets, the latest laptops, GPS devices, and other electronic devices. Not only will these innovation have grant people from unprivileged areas with opportunity to 
to access the technology that they don't have the resources to access, but it will also give them the motivation and guide them in, in a way to, guide them in a direction where they will be taught how to critically think. They would also have access to the latest news and information. These innovation hubs will grant these unprivileged people the tools to better their community, to get their communities online, to, to bring their people to that stage that we are at in technology in this world. And that's what my concept is about. And I mean, community-based community -based innovation hubs could basically inspire the youth. It will give us access to new, fresh minds, a new perspective of technology that we haven't seen before to create a fireworks of innovation. Okay. Fireworks of innovation. I'm sure you guys should be more excited than that. <laughs> but basically, if... I'm going to leave you guys with this. Keep dreaming so that the dream of Africa can stay alive in this continent's children. And then perhaps those dreams will come true. Thank you very much.